Right now, as I speak, millions and millions of drivers are saving money on their car insurance with GEICO. If you're one of those drivers, well done. If you're not, it's easy to join them. Visit GEICO.com today. And we are very fortunate to be joined by the uh, head coach of Colorado State back in the 2005 uh, Poinsettia Bowl, Sonny Lubick. Coach, good to have you with us. Well, thank you very much. My honor. Thank you. Well, it's our honor, and and I'm I'm sorry to bring up the fact that you did lose the game, but it, but still, I would have to say uh, it was a pretty good experience for you and your kids. Yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah, we couldn't uh, slow down. Maybe there, Coach Johnson ran that old wishbone there, and we had a hard time. We were kind of stayed in the ball game just before halftime, and then we turned it over, and they go score again, and then. And the dam, the flood dam is broke, and that was it for us. Well, a little history for our listeners on Sonny Lubick. Won over 100 games at Colorado State. Won or shared six Western Athletic Conference or Mountain West Conference titles. Nine bowl games in 13 years as the Rams head coach. National Coach of the Year by Sports Illustrated in 1994. But the key stat, Coach, is that you came to the Holiday Bowl three times and the Poinsettia Bowl once. So you, you coached in both of our games. And I remember I was at a coaches' meeting, and you got up in front of the Mountain West Conference coaches at the time and said, you know, I've been to both the Holiday and the Poinsettia Bowl, and I couldn't tell the difference. And to me, that was about the best thing we could have heard. Uh, we, we just appreciated everything you did uh, at Colorado State for both of our games. Well, that... That was, you know, a tremendous honor for us. And I told our play, our players and coaches two weeks into it that if we could ever get to back there to San Diego, number one, what a beautiful city at that time of the year. And then also, uh, it's right, the hospitality that we received while down there at the holiday bowls and then to come back and think it would have fallen off a little bit for the Poinsettia, Poinsettia Bowl, but it was just, it was just a great experience. I mean, the people, those Red Coats are just so genuine, and they care about the teams that came in there, and they sure made it a great experience for, I know, for our my family personally and for our team and for Colorado State. Well, Coach, on behalf of all of the Red Coats, I'm sure they, they join me in thanking you for those nice comments. So you have coached in many bowl games, and uh, what is the difference, really, because there's so much time between your last game before the bowl game. What's the difference in coaching and preparing your club for a bowl game versus a regular season game? Well, it's probably a lot more fun. First of all, that means if you go to a bowl game, you had a successful season, and so the excitement with the players there, even though it prolongs the season, it, it doesn't seem like that. The players, the coaches... All of the fans are excited that we get to go to a bowl game. And, and I mean this sincerely, genuinely, go down to San Diego and know that you're going to be treated uh, in just a very first-class manner. And, and genuinely, that I came away from there after four times with just friends that I still hold dear to this day. But as far as preparation, uh, we always wanted to leave earlier, and the administration didn't want us to send us too early. We tried to get down there a couple of days early to prepare, and when we did there, it was time-consuming, but then there were always events in the evening. But I guess the preparation was fun. The kids, they, the players did everything you asked them to do. Uh, they were excited to be there. And so if everyone just looked forward to going to practice every day and and just being in a new environment. Coach, isn't it also important from a coaching staff standpoint to have those three extra weeks of practice that you otherwise wouldn't if you weren't going to a bowl game? And doesn't well, that also help you in your recruiting, et cetera? Well, I know going to the bowl game, just being at the publicity that you get, and again, another opportunity to be on in the national spotlight in a TV game in a in a great stadium like that, oh, that, that is... That is extremely helpful in the recruiting. As far as the practices go, I know a lot of coaches make a big issue. I might be a little bit different from that. I don't know if, if it makes that big a difference. Because once the bowl game's over, you know, next year, the following year, it's a new year. I, I guess you get a, you, we get some extra practices, but I, I don't, I never looked at that. I just looked at preparing for the team, 
uh, preparing all of our players, uh, having an opportunity to take them all there to the game, but didn't think I was getting a great advantage for the following year, other than the fact that in recruiting it helped us immensely because if you're going to home and say, we've been to three holiday bowls, we've been to a point city bowl, you, you have it, we have hopefully we can get back there again. That's our goal. Sonny Lubick, the longtime head coach of the Colorado State Rams and a member of the Hall of Fame, or the Holiday Bowl Hall of Fame, is our guest with us right now. And, Sonny, what are you doing now? Uh, well, I'm working here at some public relations for uh, the credit union here, Public Service Credit Union. They've been very kind and good to me. I enjoy doing some speeches and doing some uh, some things for them. And I also, for the College of Business here at Colorado State, I I have a class on leadership and talk about ethics when, when the professors ask me occasionally and, you know, try to counsel students that come in or at, in the business part of it who are interested in going on maybe into business administration, uh, being athletic directors or being in, in public relations for uh, something in sports, so I I help them whatever I can in that regard. One final question, Coach: uh, Is there a steakhouse that you would recommend in the Fort Collins area if anybody uh, uh, ever wanted to have a nice meal? Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, they come down to San Diego State. I think they'll come to town next year. Hopefully, that they'll stop in at Sunny Lily Steakhouse and we'll treat them right. I, I might even buy him something. All right, the Sunny Lubick Steakhouse in Fort Collins, Colorado. Next time I'm in Fort Collins, Coach, you can treat me to dinner. You give give, <laughs> give me a call. It'll be my honor. And just in closing, I just you know I've had the privilege of when we were at Miami coaching the Cotton Bowl, the Sugar Bowl on two occasions as well, and, and the Orange Bowl. And I, I honestly and genuinely have said this before that none of them uh, are as good as your crew out there in San Diego at the Holiday Bowl and Poinsettia Bowl. We just, uh, just uh, did their hospitality a second to none. Coach, thank you very much for the kind words, and thanks for joining us on uh, the Geico San Diego Bowl Game Media Network, Sonny Lubick, who coached Colorado State in the first San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl back in 2005.